everybody is the costume guy and I started working on this I'm like you know what I better do start doing a video maybe a little bit and maybe it will help some people I got this Jeepers Creepers hat from Trick or Treat Studios and it's not the same as the one I had before from the original maker that they took over making them from uh, so I'm going to try and make this a pirate hat so it has to have three folds in it to look kind of like that so I put some holes in the back here so I can lace it up or pin it up and uh, I went to the very back of the hat and I, I clipped it in place made a little template that's two by two by two and then I went half inch in and drew a line and then uh, just tried to get the holes lined up and then use that to mark out the area where I wanted to punch holes. I didn't have a hole punch, so I do have a hot iron, soldering iron, and that's what I'm using. Um, so I found the spot that I want to lace up or pin up, and then I'm just marking it with a pin. So I have my four, four marks there. And then I have my soldering iron, since I didn't have a punch. And I'm just gonna poke a hole right through. This thing gets hot. I think it says it gets up to like 500 degrees or something like that, so. Definitely be careful if you have one of those. You don't want that falling on your lap or touching your skin. So the holes line up perfectly, which is cool. And now I just got to do this other side. Um, got to find out uh, about where I put the other one. I think right about here. And I don't want to put it too high because I don't want to go into the curve of the top of the hat. Let's see. That's pushed all the way to the bottom. Let me see if that's about the same. It's a different clip though. Let's see this one. Yeah, it's about right. I think I think it'll work. But you know what I could do is I could get a measurement from the bottom of the hole. It's about one and a half. Yeah, I wanted to use this hat for my skull mask. I mean, I had a hat uh, before from Makeup and Monsters that made Jeeper Creepers hat, but they gave the rights or whatever to Trick or Treat Studios. So I figured, well, I'll just get the same hat again. Well, when I got it, it's not the same material. It's not the same quality. It's not the same size, and it won't fit my skull hat. So I'm like, well, crap. You know, this was shipping was like 53 bucks, which I could have got myself a floppy hat. A woman's floppy hat, which run about nine or ten or fifteen bucks, and I could have put some starch on it, and it would have stiffened it up, and it would have been a lot cheaper than this, and I could have done the same exact same thing to it, which kind of sucks. But here, women's floppy hats. Search on eBay, women's or just floppy hat, brown felt, wool, and you'll come up with pretty much this for like ten to fifteen bucks. Even if you want to make a pirate hat. Ah, my holes don't seem to be the... Well, I guess I didn't line them up or something. But they'll line up from underneath. That's what the main thing is. Even though they're not straight up and down or whatever, they'll line up on the other side. They're not evenly spaced out for some reason. Oh well, that'll work. I'm gonna push it through without trying to burn my fingers.
Those were the holes. And to be safe, since I'm done burning holes, I'm going to start unplugging that now. Yep, they line up. Now I have some uh, like little rivets. I also have string I can use to pin that up. I might use string. We'll see how it goes, but uh, it's not going to look that great with these little plastic clips. And the hat's a little bit bigger than my head. The original one I had. Am I, I going to line up now or what? There we go. The original one I had was way oversized, but it fit my skull mask. Might work. I don't know what else to do with it. I already spent the money on it, so figured I tried to make sell something else out of it. Shoot, maybe I'll just wear it to the grocery store. <laughs> Have a good one. Uh, so I'm back with the Trick or Treat Studios Jeepers Creepers hat that didn't work out for me, so decided to still try to make it into a pirate hat, even though I wanted to use it for my skull skull mask. Um, it's not going to fit because. I want to say the inside dimensions of this hat is probably 24 and a half, five maybe. And the original hat I had from the original maker before Tots took over, it was about 27, 27 and a half, and it fit perfectly on that mask. So I went ahead and turned it into a pirate hat anyway. On the other video, you saw me poke some holes in here, and I laced it up with some string I had on the inside. I also added some foam on the front and the back, uh, so it'll fit a little bit better. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I guess I'll just wear it to the grocery store and go shopping with it and be single the rest of my life. <laughs> well, there you have it. It's a, I guess, custom pirate hat from the Jeepers Creepers hat. But this hat is $39.99 on the Trick or Treat Studios website. And you can get a, a, a woman's or brown felt floppy hat for about 10 bucks to 15 bucks. You can spray it with some starch, you can make it a little bit stiffer, and you can do the same thing for a lot, lot cheaper. I've done it before. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know.